At this moment, on the other side... Switch into Avengers POV. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Which is... Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. Sidonian. Hmm. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. Oh, this okay. move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Yeah, in 2.0, uh, uh, the sound of the fury. Yeah, I remember that uh, that dot ratio said to Aventurin that she, he was an Avgen. A Sidonian, I think. Okay. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small scale celestial objects. All right. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home. Dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Okay. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Who's that baby? Is that someone holding that baby also? Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up. With the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, Imagine. yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Can't you? Oh, Gyathra Triclops, Gyathra. if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me, does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Is that the bad story? I mean, I don't know. The inception of adventuring? You know, this baby? It just they mentioned Avgen a few times now. And yeah. She wants I mean, I suppose that's her mum. I mean his mum, sorry. Uh she wants him to be at peace and that to not see all of this has ha all that has happened on their planet. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> but yeah. Interesting, to say the least. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Mommy! Mommy! Aww. Mommy! The rain! It's raining! 
Yeah. Raining? <laughs> Raining. It is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Only we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Apparently, apparently the harsh conditions on the plant where they are right now, uh, due to the bloody mess that happened there, is due to electric rain. Maybe. So. Now this is waiting this is for the best and that they can go back home. Which is why we were able to see a venture. Maybe, probably. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born. The sky also sent down a gift like this from Gyathra. Raindrops. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> My boy. The goddess Gyathra close her eyes three times. Yeah, because she's a triathlops. <laughs> Keep your blood eternally pulsing. You know, you know how uh, it never rains in Panagoni? Never I think about it. David? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they said that. When there was the um, version 2.0 content, uh, the, this live stream session for that, they said that it never rains in the country. And that's true. I've never seen a single raindrop in there. Interesting. But yeah, uh, the inception of Venturing, or maybe this, anyway, how it came about. It's harsh to say that. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. And she even said that he's a lucky child, a blessed child. <laughs> Chachavasha, child blessed by Gyathra. <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. Dr. Ratio. <laughs> oh, heavens. Well, I, think I'm here. <sighs> I must have drunk too much soul glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> 
Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. <laughs> That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. Oh, yes. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Something up to death, though. We have to kill that thing. I mean, I hope there's only one of that thing. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Hmm. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. This murderer is a psycho. I have to say, the case does represent an opportunity. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. <laughs> uh, it's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. Oh, yeah. Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so... I gotta be careful. Yeah, you're a gambler, after all. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? <laughs> oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Find a mute as a friend? Hmm. So the best chip here is to go to for I mean for uh, Robin's murder. So Sparkle told uh, Venturing about, uh, I mean, to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. Huh. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. Yeah. And by the way, uh, for those that don't know, uh, since I've completed uh, all the collectibles that were in the, in the Reverie Dreamscape, I, of course, went to this place where Venturing and Dot Ratio are right now. And, um,. Yeah, I quite like the place. It's quite cozy. I mean, if you disregard all of the uh, monsters all around. Oh, this place is actually not too troubled with uh, creatures, so. Oh, well, memory me memes, so. So that's okay. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally. It seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. Hmm. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. Hmm. The Hounds. I found some of their statues as well. These black, these black hound statues with red eyes. Yeah, the watchful eye of the family. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. I'm starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon there's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability. Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. 
To phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Panacone, you're <laughs> dreaming. <laughs> but if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. Who, who is? That man wants to see you again. Us? Who? Oh. Sunday. Oh, Sunday. <sighs> yeah, he's not pleased about that, I suppose. Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <laughs> Dr. Ratio is so <laughs> antsy about that. Jeez. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. Hmm. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Yeah. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Okay, interesting. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Well, wait, we're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't this heavily guarded. <laughs> this mansion normally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. <laughs> Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? No one. Who's to say I won't sell you out? Mm, yeah, no. <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. <laughs> Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Oh. Fates assemble. As the story unfolds, you will have the chance to progress the story from other characters' point of view. When entering a character's point of view for the first time, the character will automatically be placed first in your team. Fates ensemble. You can, check, you can check the Fates Atlas interface to see which character's point of view on an ongoing mission or complete mission is in. If you need to change your point of view to, to continue the story, you can select here to enter Fates Assemble. For more details, please see tutorials. Oh, I see. Tap here to switch to another character's perspective. Okay, but I still want to continue adventuring, to be honest. Wait, what was that? What's that? Did that say? Adventuring dance mer da dance mer chapter. Huh. Interesting. Who said I can't get adventuring for myself? <laughs> oh, so this is a trial. I understand. <laughs> I drew falling coins from his hands. With no risk, I'll take it. Yeah, I know you'll take it. You're venturing. I like the music here. Oh no! Don't tell me. <laughs> Another. 
another origami bird. It's not Trailblazer point of view can only access specific maps and cannot play certain missions as well as certain contents such as seances, static shadows, taverns of corrosions, intruders of war, simulated universe, forgotten hall, etc. If you wish to play the full mansion restricted content, you can first go to the terrestrial peace guide, travel large, or mission interface, select the person corresponding to the content, and then switch to the suitable character's point of view to play the set content. Now, to note, uh, the unlocked state of space entries is different, uh, in different point of views, are independent of each other, of course. The same space entries must be unlocked individu individually when playing in a different point of view. Moreover, uh, team lineups across different point of views are independent of each other. But share the status effects, HP, technique points, etc. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, that organ bird, just you know. The leisurely bird, what a lovely song. Spin at that disc and sweet music will play out of the speeches. Speeches, chirp. So, if I put down something new, the record player will play an attractive too. See ya, I'm about to sing this song to the deal of the birdies, chirp. From. Who's that boss now? Who is that boss? I've seen so many origami birds. I mean, they're cute and whatnot, but still. Uh, Hendridge. Hey, you two! That's a place of business. No entry! I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Remember you, Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me. Punch virtual. <laughs> uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the Mobile Knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the Mobile Knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here <laughs> is no better than it is out there. Wow, that's saying something. <sighs> enough. Get going. Hey, don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. All right, all right. No cause for concerns, I suppose. It's not going too bad, I s Just strolling around. Making a good use of what I see. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you know, emphasizing on how beautiful these, well, different environments are. It is dope. Such vibrant colors. Nice. All right, let's get a move on. A dead end. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. Hmm. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> of course, we can also use brute force. Right. It's 
first. Let me get this. No reward, but no risk. I'll take it. <sighs> Another. The Two Light Pavilion. Interesting. Listen carefully. Right, there's no one here. Let's move. Is that a peacock? An origami peacock? Wow. Portrait of a peacock? No Jimmy peacock? Is that supposed to be referencing adventuring? Because that's a chase that's truly on point, I have to say. Okay, fair enough. This way, I suppose. No, oh, there are many. Okay, let's use one of these uh, spot effects. Feeling lucky. on you. Neurocognition. Well, from what I remember, I know that uh, Aventurine has maybe is the best shielder. Together. Once more. It's better than uh, See here, he's stacking up. <laughs> Don't ask, just spin. Don't Again, ask, just spin. Maybe I can do this. You don't have to worry about losing your head. Just need to deal the most amount of damage. Listen to the final song of life, please. Quiet down. Better hedge your back, can't lose this one. Phase two. Oh. The seal of ill fate descends. 
Adventure in the last side, so not too afraid. I suppose. Mm, let's see, is there anything else here of note? So we came from here already, so I guess it should, should just move forward. This is the Wimps Pursuit Control, but I still want to natural this guy here. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that first. This one seems like a strong boy. It has defense as well. Have to be careful. Here, 
never change beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Of course! Destiny aren't chosen. Again, the ill tidings manifest. Such a place. Ah, oh, it's that sauce. Watch your head. I hope for an end to strife in the world. Going all in. in. Tabs on me. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Destiny's course is becoming apparent. The seal of ill fate descends. He has a lot of HP. Can somebody help me? How are you supposed to deal with that? Hold together. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Again, the ill tiny manifest. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> May song bring us victory. Tonight, soul shut tonight. The stars echo because of me. Bet. <laughs> Don't ask, just spend. What would you like to know this time? The seal of ill fate descends. No dirty tricks, alright? All in! This one. The threads of destiny aren't true. Again, the ill tidings manifest. I'm gonna hold everyone back. Can somebody help me? Yeah. I think we'll have one. Uh. Watch your head. The okay. dice have been cast. Do this. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. All in. Going Watch all it. in. Tabs on me. What would you like to know this time? Mm, no. I have to hmm. use her build to heal. Destiny's hand has I truly hope for an blessed end to strife me. in the world. <laughs> Don't come any closer. Move aside, amateurs. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. All right, let's use some support. The harmony will soon play in unison. Shell is defeated. Watch your head. Looks like I've got a winning hand. <laughs> Let's try. Here, all yours. May song Memories are victory. ever chained beneath the silent waters. Lies an endless abyss. Please, quiet down. Do we have to fight? 
of course. The stars echo because of me. Wasn't too bad, I guess. Yeah. Let's do this. Fortune follows luck, just like it always does. Hmm. I mean, it's the defense in the main stat, main stat, so hmm. not very bad. That hmm. I mean, that would be good for. Be good for adventuring. I don't even know. I don't think so. All right, let's regain all these the bubble charges and let's move on there. I'm so scary, Joe. Didn't think that Jack discovered Van Hip inside his head. Well, it's so dangerous outside. I want you to go back to Verdant Manager, Joe. So now it's Verdant Manager. Okay. Fair enough. Verdant Manager. Lady Vermillion. Boss Red. Dr. Blues. Of colors. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? <laughs> How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? The two return the path they came from. Use the function of the load to check treasure map details. It seems that all the dates of this door to open is returning the statue to its original position.
Not sure on this one. Alright, let's have a look. This one seems to be the nice, uh, the correct position. So the last one is there. All these ones on the correct position. <laughs> okay. Ah, just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Can't you tell? Ah, oh, Dr. Rishu. Not too much. Nightingales. Yeah. So different stories. Head to the Dream Master Hall. Oh, gee. Oh, impressive. <laughs> So much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. If that's not so bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. What puzzle here? Tart. Do you know how about a Boshka that controls the Rips team from the shadows? What of the Dream's Edge? And then put the, the, the low Dream's Tape. Tick Tart, they have fooled you. Dear Jess, try to hear the truth. I shall show you who truly filthy daughter developed Panadroni is. How truly <laughs> filthy. Alright, let's have a look. Same, right? How could I believe such things? 
not sure they're all just conspiracy theories dreamed up by some e-grade tablet, but it must be fake, right? <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Object before I go down. Secure that again. P charge. Ah, I see. So I cannot move here. Understand full. I mean, understandable now. So let's go down. Stairs. <laughs> Always look around. Okay, let's get away. <laughs> not I'm not supposed to be here yet. sound emanating from somewhere resembling the chirping of bird of figments or figment from your subconscious you glance tower pump downwards as you suspect nothing is there after all real birds now exist within the dreamscape what do i hear Supposed to. Okay, well. Well, um, plants and ladies around the world, this is all that I have time for today. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and uh, as always, guys. This has been amazing, now we can have uh, side stories or, or other characters' point of view. And I can focus on this story with Venturing and Dr. Ratio as they go to meet Sunday. Who knows about his sister's, like his sister's death or supposedly death. And uh... Mr. Wilt Yang is uh, trying to do some sort of collab with uh, Atron. Hello. Hmm, interesting. I can't wait to see how this story unfolds. Let's see how this is going to be. But yeah, that's my easy feature of the And as always, I'll see you all in the next. Home Tri Star Rail video. See you later, guys.